All right, we're back. But I want to do an update. So Boston has taken a 2-0 lead. And according to my dad, Halliburton tore his hamstring or something. Like, there's, he has a hamstring issue and he won't be playing. So, yeah, kind of makes sense why the score is so not close as last time. And, hey, let me do research on that right now because I was not aware until my dad told me. So, yeah, he is questionable. I'm reading on a separate size right now because he hurt his hamstring in, like, game two. So, I, so yeah, the Pacers are probably going to get swept, respectfully, or at least gentlemen swept. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. I didn't get to see that. So, yeah, that's, like, the basic news from that night because I was in meeting and stuff and I was hella sick. I'm still kind of sick, but it's, like, not as bad, bad as yesterday. Yesterday was, like, so bad, bruh. But anyways, let's talk about my Mavs. God, being a Mavs fan takes years off your life. Like, I am not memeing you. These, This team is just so weird. Like, we do so much things correctly, but at the same time, we don't do things correctly. We are weirdos, that's all I'm going to say. But yeah, the video of the Mavs game is weird, because I watched the whole game live, and like, there was a dunk by the Mavs, but which screwed up the ring. But it was funny, because it was listed on the scoreboard to Wolves 2, and it could have hella confused me seeing Conley trying to inbound the ball. But they fixed the core card, and they thought they were slick. And it was not good at the start. Like, I was freaking out, bro. I was tweaking. And, oh, I'm happy to be wrong. Because if you saw the Minecraft stream today, I, had, I I thought that the Wolves were going to win. Because I was scared of, like, Cat and stuff. Well, no, Anthony Edwards. But, yeah. I'm happy to be wrong. But, yeah. Yeah, Luca was, like, hurting the whole game. Like, less than three minutes a game, bro, looked like he was going to die. And I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. You can't be doing that. And, yeah. Minnesota was, like, taking it early because they were drawing some crucial fouls and, like, going to the line. Like, the three-point, the free-throw line was very important in this game. You cannot talk about this game without mentioning the free-throw line and fouls, and we'll get to that, too. Luka was doing his best. And also, yeah, key blocks from both sides of the court. Like, blocks de decided this game. The defense was playing hard. Yeah, P.J. Washington made, like, a bad foul towards the end of the first quarter, and I was like, bro, you're either the GOAT or a bona fide score, bruh. And yeah, they bro was literally in the Wolves game more free throw attempts. And yeah, being the first quarter half, the Mavs were very like, very uh, I would say, passive. They just let stuff happen. It that's why I was so pissed, bro. But yeah, Rudy, you you guys probably saw this, but like online, but Rudy like tried to punch Luca or something. But yeah, and he yeah he's an army new probably doesn't deserve his four defensive player of the years. And he had like five fouls towards the end. Like bro, how you have four defense? Four defensive player of the years, and you be fouling willy nilly. Like, fam, you're already trying to injure an already injured man. Like, I feel like that's hella illegal, bruh. You need to chill out. And yeah, Kyrie was called for offensive fouling through with a leg kick. Like, early on, like, everyone was struggling, bro. Like, later on, I'm gonna talk about, but like, they showed a stat from, like, all the key players on both sides were shooting bad. Like, the defenses were good. Like, it wasn't just they were shooting bad. Like, the defense on both sides of the ends were good. Both sides were making key blocks and stuff. I mean, they were, like, key turnovers. Like, dude. Yeah, and the, and during the second half, they just gave Kat a free, free three-pointer to start the third. Great. The first of the night. And yeah, Gaffer was a real offensive player. Roe was blocking everything. Yeah, and this is when they showed how everyone was having a good shooting night. And this is in the third quarter where we made our advance, and they went on an 11-3 Mavs run. And yeah, single-digit game. This is when we knew we were locking in. And Gobert with his third already. And yeah, Luca was already attacking that Wolves man. You know he's going to win when he's going after that bench. And yeah, oh great, a crypto ad right after. And this is when it started getting close. We got close to a two-point game with 148 left in the third. And yeah, the Wolves led by seven start the fourth. And yeah, the Mavs cut down the lead gradually. We shout out to them. They made the game far closer. Because the first half, honestly, I would have probably turned it off. I, if, I, if this wasn't a Friday night, I would have quit that game. That game was not good. And yeah, nice out NFT slander earlier with that thing. Like, if you saw it, it was, like, slandering, making better financial decisions. NFTs and crypto are, like, hella mid, guys. Don't do it. You're going to lose a lot of money. Don't, if you don't believe me, just go on CoffeeZilla and watch all his journalistic videos. Kyrie finally lit up, too, with clutch threes. Dallas with the lead. But, yeah, free throws. Free throws were a problem. Free throws, if we lost this game, was what's what I have blamed for, like, killing us. Because Kyrie, for some reason, missed, like, a bunch of crucial free, thrower, free throws. Like, bro. Yeah, time 96-96. He made the last one. He was missing the first one. It was a lead by one. And we really had seven lead changes leading up to us. And it showed the 
the officiating was kind of interesting because they kind of let people play and didn't really tell much fouls. You know, Edwards was like holding a lot, lol. And more Luca key free throws. And this is when it got real serious. Mavs were taking three, taking the timeout with three minutes so seven remaining. Edwards at the free throw line, he made them. And yeah, Gobert had five fouls. Like this is probably what really messed them up down the line. The fact they wanted to keep out five fouls. Kyrie really made some threes, and yeah, this dude was dude. Kyrie came back with a three. And yeah, it was like a crucial challenge, which they kind of argued about because there's some like weird ass rule where you can only like count the th- not the entire thing, but only one part of the thing. Like Kyrie should have gotten like a foul or something, they believe, but you can only like count possessions or whatever. It's like a really weird rule. And yeah, I kind of agree with the commentators that. They should make that more clear, but yeah, that probably pissed off the Minnesota cloud crowd. But yeah, we got the Dallas ball, but it didn't really matter because we turned it over to like the Minnesota Timberwolves. But like Edwards had the ball and made it turn over, even though he should have shot it at the rim. But like whatever. But then yeah, my boy Luca, he made that three, and I was me and my dad were on the floor. We were so happy, and yeah, they, the Wolves tried to take a three, which me, both me and my dad pointed out was kind of stupid at the end because. They could, they should have, like, took in, like, a layup, like, because they only really needed, like, one or two points to stay in the game, because if they had made one point, they would have went over t- time, and then if they made two points, they would have won the game, instead of taking a three. Like, what do I personally would do? I would have taken the layup, took in the contact, because if I make it, we win the game. But, if I get fouled, which is probably more more likely to happen, since it's such a tight game... I go to the line, and I only need to make one shot. And if I make that one shot, we go to overtime. So I would have taken my chances and went for the contact. Because, like, there's, a, there's, like, a higher chance I probably would have made a point rather than lost a point, if you know what I mean. So overall, yes, this was some fire shoot, bro. This game was so fun. Best game back after taking a break. And also, this kind of led to a bit of a dilemma. Since Halliburton's Burns not playing, the Celtics basically have a guaranteed run to the ch- chip. And the Mavericks, I think they can still make it, but it's going to be clearly hard. Because all these games have been hella close. Like, bro. Let's be realistic. Like, bro. But yeah, this is going to be kind of hard. Because, like, for the finals, I don't even know who I'm going to root for. Because, like, I'm a Mavs fan. My dad's a Celtics fan. But, like, if the Mavs win, I get to be a happy person. But if the Celtics win, at least I get to record my dad's reaction. And I think that's kind of funny. Because the last time the Celtics actually went to the chip and won it all was 2008, and I was only, like, a few months old. And some of my earliest memories was actually just watching the game with my dad back in the day. Like, that's how I got into ball. So, like, this is a bit weird. But whatever. It made a mess. Person win. And also, if you're a Wolves fan, you must be crying in the street right now. And yes, since it's a three-day weekend, you will get daily reviews from me. So let's go. See ya.